It's time for exciting live and local sports action on Richmond's very own WBON-TV, the leader in local sports television. Remember to like our YouTube channel so you'll never miss any of our live sports coverage. And support these great local sponsors who support our community. Now, here's your announcers for the game. Good evening, everybody, and welcome into Madison Central High School. A much shorter pregame show as we come at you live right before tip-off between Madison Central and Great Crossing. Tom Gross, Michael Watkins here with you. And, Tom, not much of a time for the normal EKU pregame show, but as always, the campus beautiful awaits you. When choosing your college, choose Big E. Choose Eastern Kentucky University. For more information, go to eku.edu. It is Madison Central and Great Crossing here. Our friends over at Prep Spin have Dunbar and Berea for you tonight. You can watch that game over on prepspin.com or on their Facebook page. We also have Scott County and Tates Creek in the first round and Franklin County and Bryan Station. So it is the girls' first round tonight, the boys' first round tomorrow night. We will be right back here at Madison Central tomorrow for Madison Central boys versus Tates Creek in the boys' game. And, Tom, is an exciting time of year. You win or you go to the house. Oh, that's it. Hey, it's one and done is what they call it. And uh, you, don't want to, you don't want to be done on the first night of the regional. You'd like to pick up a good victory here tonight and then go into your uh, semifinal game with an opportunity to get to the finals and maybe a possibility to go to the Sweet 16. And that's what everybody shoots for when the season starts back in November and December. The starters tonight for Great Crossing, number two, Timothy Williams. Number three is Braley McMath. Number 32 is Reagan Barrett. Number 22 is Ava Sherman. And number one is Rachel Smith. Those are the starters for Great Crossing tonight. As we are live here at Madison Central High School in the first round of the girls' 11th region tournament, the semifinals will be on Wednesday, the finals on Friday. And Brad Lovely and his Lady Indians team, Tom, trying to do what they did in the district tournament as they were the preseason number four team in the district going into the season. And then they end up not only knocking off the top team in the district in Madison Southern in the first round, but defeating Berea, who was the second-ranked team in the district, going into the finals. They need to use the district now tonight as momentum. They, they need to take that, hey, we beat a really good team. We actually beat two really good teams in that uh, tournament last week. So let's start this week off right. Let's get a big victory here tonight. We'll turn around in a couple of nights and we'll play in the semifinals and then have that chance to play for a trip up to uh, Rupp Arena. That would be just fabulous. Great crossing comes into this game. 15 wins, 15 losses. Madison Central, 13 wins and 17 losses. The starters for the Lady Indians, Beerbaum, Carter, McKeith and Todd, and Hammett for Brad Lovely and the champion to the 44th district, the Madison Central Lady Indians. Our cameraman tonight, Taylor Burns, our TV producer, Austin Hanks. Our radio producer is Jaden Johnson. Samantha Burford will provide the halftime interviews and my partner to my right, Tom Gross. I'm Michael Watkins here on WEKY on 106.7 The Pinnacle and WBONTV.com. Quick keys to the game. Inside, inside, inside. Dance with the girls who took you to the regional. There you go, Tom. And for Madison Central, they control the tip as Beerbaum has it on the left wing for the Lady Indians. They will go left to right to begin the game. Great crossing will go right to left. Here's Todd as she gets inside. Out to Beerbaum. Corner three, a comes off. And Carter chases down the rebound for Madison Central. Into the corner, it's Hammett. Here on the right side, they post up McKeithen. Tom said, go inside. They do yep. just that, but McKeithen can't get it to fall. And great crossing quickly the other way. Here's McMath. Her jumper comes off, and McKeithen grabs the rebound for Madison Central. She's picking up where she left off last week with another rebound. Our coverage, as always, presented by Bishop Small Engine Repair on North Estill Avenue in Richmond. McKeithen. Will drive in, free throw line jumper on its way, too hard, Hammett the rebound, out to Todd, to Leah, drives in, crosses over, she'll back it out and give it up to her point guard, Carter. Eve drives in, out to Beerbaum right corner. Bree Beerbaum drives in, she'll back her way down and now will reset the offense with Carter who comes to get it 
on the handoff up top. Coach trying to get the team to move without the ball. A lot of standing around here early. Beer bomb. Bounce pass inside McKeithen, and there's the first foul of the game. A nice play drawn up, Tom, as they feed Jakari McKeithen inside, and she draws the foul. Williams, her first Looks like Timothy Williams is going to be the recipient of the personal foul. McKeithen this year, a walking double-double, averaging 12.8 points per game and 11.6 rebounds per game. She also got to the free throw line Two times per game to Jakari and shot 57.4%. Missed the first there. One more free throw from McKeithen. Puts it in. One nothing. Lady Indians strike first here in the first round of the 11th region tournament. Getting those early game jitters out of the way, Tom. And you're going to have them the rest of the way. There's no way around it. Nice move inside by McMath, but she misses the layup. McKeithen the other way. Had it knocked away. Got it back, tried to hit Todd, can't do it. McMath, long pass up, and the layup comes off by Rachel Smith, and Beerbaum's got it for Central. Both teams got the jitters right now. Lady Indians have numbers. Todd can't handle the pass. It goes inside to McKeithen. Jakari, back to Carter, kicked out to Hammett. Her corner three is good. They're going to call it a two-pointer. Toe on the line, and Madison Central leads three to nothing. In the early stages of the first quarter of the 11th region tournament, six minutes to play in the opening frame. Nice look out by Beer Bomb. Saw the wide open Hammett and an easy three-pointer from the corner. Here's McMath out to Barrett. She can't finish. Rebound chased down by Great Crossing. It's Sherman. Kicked out to Williams. She'll try a three-pointer. In and out. Rebound Jakari McKeithen and Madison Central. Can add to an already 3-0 lead here in the first quarter. McKeithen with three rebounds already. Carter crosses over to screen from Hammett. Nearly turned it over as she dribbles her way in. Throws up a floater that comes off and Sherman the rebound for great crossing. Back the other way, Sherman. Coast to coast with it. And they're going to have a reach-in foul, I believe, against Hammett of Madison Central. They're going to call it on Todd. That's the first on to Leia. And that could be another key for Madison Central, Tom. Our Jack Burford Chevrolet key to the game. Get the ball inside, and you've got to keep your two seniors out of foul trouble, Todd and McKeithen. This team, great uh, crossing coming in, uh, Michael, uh, allowing 62.8 points per contest. On the other hand, Madison Central only allowing 48 points a game. Three to one. First free throw from Ava Sherman was good. She makes both, and it's 3-2. Madison Central, a one-point lead. Not bad for a 47% free throw shooter. Todd up the floor for Madison Central. Talia crosses over on Williams, crosses back over. Feeds it inside to McKeith, a nice strong move. But they're going to say she traveled with it before she put that dribble down. Turned back over to great crossing. The feet many times. When you're a strong athlete like McKeithen are quicker than the hands, and that's what happened that time. Timothy Williams with it up top to Smith. And the first year as a school, great crossing, competing in the 11th region tournament. Yeah. Lost to Scott County in the district finals. Of course, everybody losing to Scott County this year. They're one of the top <laughs> teams in the state. Kicked out to Sherman. Three-pointer right wing is wow. good. She's got all five for great crossing, and they lead five to three, four and a half to play in the first quarter. Blocked inside. It's Barrett with the rejection. Sherman a long pass up. They kick it out to Williams, her three-pointer. In and out, rebound to Barrett. She had it blocked by McKeithen. Now it's Beer Bomb the other way for Central. Long pass up to Jacory McKeithen, but she can't make the layup. Oh. Great crossing in a hurry the other way, and Williams traveled with it. Well, that's the kind of basketball that Great Crossing likes to play. They don't like to play a deliberate game. They like to go up and down the floor, and it's evident by their scoring and their scores. And uh, they got pretty decent field goal percentage on the season. Todd drives in. Talia draws the foul. That's what she did so well in the district championship game against Berea, Tom. Talia Todd got to the free throw line at will, and she made a lot of them as well. Reagan Barrett going to get whistled for the personal foul. 
Todd, a 57.5% free throw shooter. Makes the first. 5-4. Halfway through the first quarter. And Todd makes a pair. 5-5, five five, Todd with her first two points. Coming off the MVP crown of the district tournament to Leah Todd, the senior guard. Here's a three-pointer put up by McMath. Wow. She knocks it down. Woo! She's the best three-point shooter on the team, 34.5%. Carter forces her way up, can't finish. Ball tipped around, beer bombs got it, kicked out to Todd, to Leah. Little one-hand bounce pass over to Beer Bomb, and now it's Carter who comes to get the basketball for Central. Left wing, Todd, make that a Beer Bomb with it. Nice screen by McKeithen. Beer Bomb fires up a three. It's coming off. McKeithen the rebound. Jakari out to Hammett, swung around to Todd. Talia drives in, off the glass, can't finish. Another rebound, McKeithen, and she finishes it up. Following the miss from Todd, McKeithen with two offensive rebounds on that possession. Williams at the other end can't make it. McMath offensive rebound. She puts it up. She can't score. And McKeithen another rebound for Jakari. That's six already. And all I got to say is clean the glass, young lady. Eight, seven. And Jakari McKeithen with six rebounds already here in the first quarter. Todd with it for Central. Looking inside. Will drive. Can't get the foul call. But the ball bounces off of great crossing. Lady Indians will keep it. I don't have the team stat sheets, but she gets one more rebound. That will be 900 for a career at Madison Central. Talia Todd was 15 of 19 at the free throw line in the district championship game, Tom. She got there at will. Here's McKeithen, free throw line jumper. They come in to her, oh. that one rattled out. Rebound to Hammond. Another offensive board for Central, but she threw it away. Sherman the steal, and here comes great crossing in a hurry. Outlet to Williams. Williams drives in. Floater comes off. McKeithen couldn't get the rebound this time as Barrett puts it up over top of her. Shot comes off, and Carter will save it inbounds. Wow. A nice job to save it off of great crossing. And the Lady Indians will get the basketball back, trailing by one, 8-7. to seven. 2.17 to play in the first quarter here in the first round of the 11th Region Tournament at Madison Central High School. Boy, Olivia Tyranny, man, that... That had to hurt a little bit. Went right off the thigh, hard and out of bounds. Todd with it for Central. Talia gets a screen from McKeithen. Drives in, off the glass. Again, misses the layup. And great crossing the other way with a one-point lead. And, Tom, you have got to finish inside. Yeah. They're getting it there but not finishing They're here. They're just forcing a little bit In the right first now. quarter, as yep. you said. Williams lost the handle, able to get it over to Barrett on the left wing. Her jumper comes off. Strader the rebound, oh. and the seventh grader loses the basketball, but she's fouled. We'll be right back here tomorrow night for the Madison Central boys in Tate's Creek. Second foul on Williams. A minute 40 to play in the first quarter. 8-7. Ball kicked over to Strader. Strader. Into Miller in the left corner. They go inside to McKeithen. Jakari draws the foul. From call number 44, it's Emma Boehm. Emma Beam, excuse me. A minute 31 to play. Let's see if Central can tie it up here. Free throw comes off for Jakari, who was so good down the stretch shooting free throws for Madison Central. Has yeah. missed two of her first three, Tom. Yeah, 55% on the season. There this you one go. is good. She's splitting the pair. She's staying true to her season average. There you go. Two of four to begin the game, and we're tied up at eight. 98 seconds to play in the first quarter. Here's McMath. Jumper on its way, short, McKeith in up there over everybody to get the rebound. Seven of them, that's 900 in her career. And Todd the other way attacks and draws the foul on Rachel Smith. Foul on the Warhawks, number one, Smith. Man, what was it, 19 she ended up with in the yeah. championship of the uh, 
of the district there. Aaron Todd just dominated that game. McKeithen, 19 rebounds, 10 offensive rebounds, yeah. and that win over the Lady Pirates in the district championship game. Of course, Berea in action tonight on our friends over at Prep Spin. You can watch Berea and Dunbar in the first round of the 11th region tournament. Here's Todd. A minute to play in the first quarter. McKeithen will come out and set a screen. Todd won't use it. Instead, will drive it in. Kicked it out to Miller. Miller back out to Carter. Carter lost the handle. Ball is loose. Jump ball will be called. And the possession arrow to Great Crossing. Yeah. Well, two things. Number one, if you're Madison Central, as shaky as you've started here, again, missing some layups, you're right in this yeah. thing. It's tied, so you can't be uh, feeling too bad. Another thing is, let's let's keep going a little more deliberate at the basket. McMath, a pretty move. This time she knocks down the jump shot. And it's a two-point lead for Great Crossing. Pressure being applied. They get it into Carter. Eve, up the floor she comes. 28 seconds to play. Gets it inside. Now we'll dribble it out to set the offense up. Try to find McKeithen. Jakari has to chase it down. Nice bounce pass oh. into Carter. Ball is loose. It's off of Strader. And Great Crossing will get it back. A little sloppy possession by Madison Central. Gives the ball back to Great Crossing. And the Warhawks lead by two with 19 seconds to play in the first quarter. Rayleigh McMath, number three for Great Crossing. Probably the smallest or next to smallest player on the floor. But, man, she is quick. And she disrupted that pass underneath last trip down. McMath with it here. In the right corner, we'll throw it up top. Ball kicked around. Great Crossing will shoot it with .7 to play and draw a foul as Olivia Tyranny draws the foul. Her first, two side. And the line, number 24, Tyranny. Tyranny at the free throw line. A chance to extend the lead for Great Crossing. First one is somehow good. It hit the back of the rim and just kind of sat there <laughs> and then falls down in. Knuckleball. <laughs> One more free throw for Tierney. She puts it up, and this time it comes off. The offensive rebound is blocked away as Madison Central falls behind after one, 11 to eight. Great crossing with the lead. We will take a one-minute commercial break and come back on the stations of Walling for Broadcasting and WBONTV.com. Need a physical for school or work? Need it right away? No problem! Berea Urgent Care has two convenient locations along with late hours to meet your needs. They're affordable too. Physicals at Berea Urgent Care only $20. DOT and CDL physicals are only $65. Berea Urgent Care number one by Walmart is open every day 9 to 9. Berea Urgent Care number two by Berea Drug open Monday through Friday 10 to 6. No appointment necessary. Berea Urgent Care, here when you need us. I'm Michelle. And I'm Jennifer, and in the spring of 1992, Bishop's Small Engine Repair was born in our mom and dad's barn in Estill County. Then in the fall of 1992, we made the move to Madison County, where we are today. With the support of our family, customers, and community, we have continued to grow in the outdoor power industry. With a full line of products from Cupcadet, Grasshopper, Echo, and Shindawa, we can help you tackle your yard so you can enjoy it with your family. Bishop's Small Engine Repair, where our focus is our customer. Stop on in, 119 North Estill Avenue in Richmond. We can't wait to see ya. Back on WEKY and WBONTV.com. Tom Gross, Michael Watkins here with you. And, Tom, let the Indians fall behind by three after one, but we'll get the basketball to begin the second quarter. Yep, five points apiece for McMath and Sherman of uh, Great Crossing, one for Tierney for Madison Central, four for McKeithen, two each for Todd and Hammett. Seven rebounds for Jakari there in the first quarter, and as Tom pointed out, 900 rebounds for her career now. That's fantastic. And she's on pace for 28 boards tonight, Tom. Yeah, she could do it. Carter, back in the corner to Strader, who had a good game in the championship game and knocks down the there jumper here. There you go. Natalia Strader, who he played really well as a seventh grader in the district finals, knocks down the jump shot. Give the Indians a little help on the outside shooting. Todd, the deflection, McKeith in the steal. Here comes Carter with it for Central. Over to Miller on the left wing. Raylan back up top to Carter. Back over to Miller. Looking inside at McKeithen. She's double teamed. Now they go back up top to Carter. They only gave her a two on that one. I thought she was three-point range, but must have stepped on the line. Long pass to Todd. Step back three. Yeah. Good. Oh. 
to Leia Todd for three. And Madison Central takes a two-point lead, 13-11, to 11, here in the first quarter, seven minutes to play. She's calmed down a little bit now. You could tell on that play she's ready to play some serious hoop here tonight. McMath guarded by Carter. Braley, 17.2 points a game, leading score for this team. The yes. Warhawks. Barrett. It's a lot like that name, don't you? Oh, yeah, that's a good, that's a cool name. Here's McMath again on the right wing. They'll work it around over to Sherman. Now it's Barrett. She'll try three. Too hard, back of the rim, and we've got a whistle. They're going to say it hit the top of the backboard, so yeah. it'll be turned over back to Central. Hit the, hit the cable up there that uh, holds the glass steady, so uh, that's considered out of bounds. See my man Wayno, the Madison Southern fan over there in the corner, is here watching tonight's game. Great crossing with the deflection, and they got the basketball back. Long pass inside. Barrett got a block by McKeithen. Great recovery defense from Jakari. Now it's straighter into Todd, and Talia oh. let it go, and a smart nice. decision to do so. Nice. McMath comes in for the steal on Carter. McMath the other way, and she will lay it up, but it comes off. Ball tipped around. It's loose. McMath chases it down for great crossing. Out to Williams. She'll pump fake on the drive. Floater short. And the rebound chased down by Williams oh. and Strader just too aggressive yeah. as she runs into her and commits the foul. I don't know what Braley McMath drinks each day, but I want about a half a gallon of that. <laughs> Some energy is what she drinks. She's all, all over the place. Beer bomb and Hammett back in. Miller and Strader out for Brad Lovely. That's Strader's second foul. Into McMahon, three-pointer on the way. Good, man, man she's so she, smooth. She is. 34.5% from three-point range. She's got eight. Carter gets inside. Eve lays it in. That's a nice play by the freshman guard to get it inside. And Eve Carter trims the lead or gives Central back the lead, 15-14, to 14, Lady Indians on top. Back and forth we go in the first round of the girls' 11th region tournament. It's over to McMath, three-pointer on the way. Good, you got to get oh. that honor. Brad yeah. Lovely calls a timeout. 30-second timeout as Talia Todd went out to take the defensive duties of McMath. We will keep it right here, Tom, as with seven with 5.02 to play, it's 17-15, great crossing with the lead, and McMath doing the damage for the Lady Warhawks. If Madison Central can hold them to upper 40s, tonight. They've been holding teams to uh, 48.2. If they can do that this evening, they've got a really good chance of winning this basketball game. If, if things like that that just happened with McMath hitting the wide open three two in a row now, if that continues, uh, it's going to be a long night for the Indians. So they got to get somebody out on her right away. McMath is a firecracker. She's got 11 points in the game already. And I saw Coach Lovely call for a switch to Leah Todd will now guard McMath. That's good. Todd is a great defender, has great length, but Talia cannot get in foul trouble for this team to be able to win tonight's game. Yeah, and we've already seen McMath likes to drive the basketball just as much as she likes to shoot the three. Takari had it deflected. They're going to say it was off of her leg over to Great Crossing. Yeah, good hands there by the Warhawks defense and slap it off the leg of J.M., here it is, Lady Warhawks with the basketball. McMath nearly turned it over. She was trying to find a teammate, and the teammates started to cut without the basketball, and McMath almost threw it to her. Barrett will draw a foul. They're going to say she traveled before the foul came in, so Madison Central will catch a break there. Well, Barrett saw the defense come over, and a great job of switching over by Gretchen Hammett, and she went up in the air high early, and that caused her to hesitate and take the extra step. 17-15, four and a half to play. Here's Carter with it for Madison Central. Carter crosses over. Eve looking around over to Hammett on the right corner. Now it's Todd on the extended right wing to Leah Todd with 4-10 to play. Her team down by two. Lady Indians going left to right on your radio dial. You've got us tuned in on WEKY. Beer bomb on the left wing. 
into McKeithen. Nice feed to Todd and to Leah. Can't finish the layup. Ball's tipped around McKeithen. She can't finish. Another missed layup for Madison Central. Now it's McMath the other way. McMath had a whistle come in. If that's on Todd, that's her second. Talia slipped and fell. And if that's on Talia Todd, again, that's her second personal foul. And it looks like it will be on Talia Todd. Yep. It is, Tom. That's not good. Todd was kind of in no man's land. She fell down. McMath kept running and ran into her. And Todd tripped her up on accident. But, again, that's where the foul came in. Now she's upset and rightly so. She felt like she got tripped out, and that's what caused the contact. McMath receives the inbounds pass. Three-pointer. Short. Rebound to Campbell, and Campbell is fouled by McMath. How about the seventh grader? Yeah. Matching up with McMath. Good defense, and Campbell able to chase down the rebound and draw the foul. Well, I think that's your matchup there. I think Brittany Campbell shows no fear out there, especially defensively, and that's a good matchup for uh, number three, McMath. An unforced turnover is Carter and Campbell. A little miscommunication. 3.39 to play in the first half. 17-15, Madison Central. Down by two, McMath will receive the inbounds pass. Dribbles it left. Now crosses over a couple of times, makes her move. Feeds it inside, McKeithen deflected, and Carter comes to get the steal for Central. Carter, long pass to Jakari McKeithen, swung around to beer bomb. In the corner, it's Campbell. Campbell will dribble it up and throw it over to Carter. Central has missed so many inside shots already here in the contest as beer bomb fires up a three, knocks it down <laughs> the left corner, and Madison Central back in front, 18 to 17. B squared from downtown. Williams drives in, and she's going to be fouled before the shot. Madison Central, great crossing. First round of the girls' 11th region tournament. And McMath putting on a show here with 11 points in the first half for great crossing. Her team does trail by one as McMath comes to get the inbounds pass on the right corner, under three minutes to play in the second quarter. Shot put up and in. Wow. Nice floater by Beam. And it's now a one-point lead for great crossing. Long pass up to Hammett. And Hammett nearly threw it away, gets it back, and again another missed layup. Hammett gets it back again, and again it comes off. McKeithen clears it for Central, but a foul called against Great Crossing, Tom. Madison Central, you said the key was get it inside. They have gotten it inside with ease, but they cannot make a layup here tonight. Rebound number eight for McKeithen and a trip to the free throw line. The long checks in for Central. So two seventh graders in the game, and the freshman Carter who gets the offensive rebound, and E puts it back in. Central back in front, and a quick foul as Carter stepped in front to commit the personal. It was trying to get a steal, but they whistle her for the personal foul as Barrett will check back in for great crossing, along with Sherman. The starters in the game for the Warhawks. McMath up top. Dribbles it right. In the corner. Will fire up the three. Short rebound to McMath. Got her on board. Now it's Williams in the right wing. Step back jumper from her. It's short. And another rebound for Great Crossing. Back-to-back -back offensive rebounds for the Warhawks. Williams gets inside and long commits to foul. That'll put the Lady Warhawks in the bonus now, Tom. Well, you've heard the expression, body up in the paint. You can do that when you're with a person without the ball, but if you do it and they have the ball, you're going to get called for the personal foul. And we have a 30-second timeout for the Lady Warhawks. 30-second timeout. We will take it with them and come back in 30 seconds on the stations of Falling for Broadcasting and WBONTV.com. Welcome to Chenault Vineyards, locally grown wine. Right here in the heart of Richmond, Chenault Vineyards is a place that everyone can enjoy. Celebrate your next event at Chenault Vineyards. Whether it be a wedding, maybe your wedding shower, office event, or just a place to gather with friends. You can't beat the venues or the amazing views at Chenault Vineyards. Chenault Vineyards has a restaurant open Friday through Sunday and live music as well. Visit ChenaultVineyards.com to learn more about this amazing place. Tucked back into the heart of Richmond, Chenault Vineyards. 
Back on WBONTV.com, James Clark, Rosemary Wall, Rancy Rakin, and it's all your crews all watching us tonight on WBONTV. Glad to have you tuned in as the first free throw is good. We're tied at 20. Carolyn Beach and Maya Hinton both supporting Madison Central here in tonight's game on WBONTV. Glad to have you all along. Williams knocks down a pair of free throws. It's 21-20. Great crossing now, back in front. Tommy, it has been a back and forth game all the way through here in the first half. And with 2.03 to play, Madison Central with the basketball. Well, it's all on the line tonight. And I know uh, I've been watching Braley McMath the last couple of minutes. She is winded. I mean, she has not left the ball game at all. And she hustles constantly. Miller gets inside and again can't finish. McKeithen the rebound. Jakari goes up strong. Had it deflected. Ball is loose on the floor. They are fighting for it and a jump ball is called. And the possession arrow should go to Madison Central. Great crossing going the other way. It's a, thought the last jump ball went to Great Crossing, but they say it's Lady Warhawks basketball. Tenth rebound there for Jakari McKeithen and unable to convert on her second time up then the ball got slapped away so she's having a whale of a game on the boards here's Williams over to Sherman she'll drive in floater knocks it down 23 20 great crossing with the lead Ava no relation to the great singer Bobby Sherman Miller with it for Central <laughs> get all of our coverage provided by Bishop Small Engine Repair on North Estill Avenue in Richmond as Carter gets inside. Eve backing it out. Three-pointer on the way. And Carter, the freshman guard, knocks down the triple. And we're tied at 23. McMath, step back, Jay. What an answer. Yeah, yeah, I can do that. 25-23. <laughs> Man, she's a good-looking athlete, Michael. 13 points already in this game. McMath the steal. Layup, good. Make it 15. 27-23. The pressure is starting to get to Madison Central. Here's Campbell. Out to Miller. Raylan drives in. Had it deflected. They're going to call a travel against Miller. And Coach Lovely asking for a call on the other end. The, Talking to one of the lead officials. <laughs> the leg hook works every time. <laughs> 31 <laughs> seconds to play in the first half. 27-23, Samantha Burford will have our Gillum's Sports Lounge halftime interview. Williams with it, drives in, and to McMath. Short this time, ball tipped up in the air. Beer bomb comes to get it. Outlet to Carter with 13 seconds to play. Here's Eve down the floor, 10 seconds. Carter behind the back dribble. Woo! Eve got it inside, but oh, lost no. it. McMath with three, two, Puts it up and in at the buzzer. And the first wow. half comes to an end with McMath putting the team on her back and giving them a six-point lead. 29-23 at the half. Great crossing with the lead. Samantha Burford will talk to Brad Lovely and get his halftime thoughts with his team down by six at the half. All right, Coach. Obviously, number three, McMath, is a... Uh Wonderful player. Tell us how you feel like your team is defended against her and what will you do in the second half? Well, we're getting lost a lot on her. We told our girls to face guard her and not let her touch the ball. And she's real heady with it. She's really quick. So we got to do a better job of just trying to keep her out of the paint and forget about guarding anybody else when we got her. Just, just face guard her. You guys are missing some easy layups. You're getting down in the paint, but you're missing the easy layup. To be down, down, down six with this, with the layups we missed, we're in good shape. We'll hit those shots second half. I got faith in us. All right. Good luck, Coach. All right. We're going to take a three-minute commercial break, and when we come back, Tom and Michael have all the halftime stats for everybody right after this message. Three Sports minutes. Lounge is the place to go to watch your favorite team, whether it be EKU, Kentucky, or your favorite local high school team on WBON-TV. Gillums has you covered on one of their many flat-screen TVs. Gillum's has something on the menu for everyone. Pizza, burgers, mouth-watering appetizers, subs, sandwiches, salads, and more. And Gillum's Sports Lounge is the perfect place to host your next event in one of their private rooms. When you think local food in Richmond, think Gillum's Sports Lounge at 830 Eastern Bypass inside the Richmond Mall. 
Hometown Dental in Richmond has been serving the people of Madison County for many years. Now when you go to Hometown Dental, you can get everything you need under one roof because Hometown Dental now offers orthodontics. Hometown Dental is a full-service family dentistry dental group with a personal touch. Check out their website, hometowndentalrichmond.com, to learn about their services and staff at Hometown Dental. Located at 4095 Atwood Drive, Sweet A in Richmond. Mention this ad and get free x-rays or $100 off Zoom whitening treatment at Hometown Dental. The Estill Clinic and Urban Healthcare Pharmacies are focused on providing the best care possible for the people of Estill County. Our care for our patients and our community is what sets us apart. With society's fast pace, we want to make sure you leave with the information you need about your medications. With the knowledge and experience of John, Ryan, and Janet, you are guaranteed excellent service, whether you are in the store or pulling through the drive-thru. Taking care of the people of Estill County is our number one priority, so stop in or give us a call to become a part of our community. Gateway Cycles in Mount Sterling has the largest showroom in Central Kentucky with all the power sports products you can dream of for your next adventure. Gateway Cycles has a qualified, certified service department, friendly sales staff so you can ride free and play hard. Local people serving local people. We are here to make your dream a living adventure. Stop in and see us today at Gateway Cycles in Mount Sterling or visit us at gatewaycycles.com. Hometown Dental in Richmond has been serving the people of Madison County for many years. Now when you go to Hometown Dental, you can get everything you need under one roof because Hometown Dental now offers orthodontics. Hometown Dental is a full-service family dentistry dental group with a personal touch. Check out their website, hometowndentalrichmond.com, to learn about their services and staff at Hometown Dental. Located at 4095 Atwood Drive, Sweet A in Richmond. Mention this ad and get free x-rays or $100 off Zoom whitening treatment at Hometown Dental. When you're in Estill County and get the hungries, be sure to eat at Estill's Finest. In the mood for the best barbecue, pulled pork, brisket, steaks, ribs, or burgers? Follow the smoke to the House of Q. And for the best pizza, pasta, or salad, head on down to the Steam Engine Pizza Pub. No matter what you're craving, remember Estill's Finest, Steam Engine Pizza Pub on Main Street, or for mouth-watering barbecue, it's House of Q on River Drive in Irvine. Healthy smiles are confident smiles. Jones Family and Cosmetic Dentistry is offering a new patient special. X-rays, exam, cleaning, and fluoride for only $99. They also have a $10 unit Botox special. Jones Family and Cosmetic Dentistry offers their patients single visit restoration on crowns, bridges, inlays, onlays, and veneers with CIRAC. Jones Family and Cosmetic Dentistry is equipped to handle all your dental needs from implants, teeth whitening, root canal therapy, and more. For your next dental appointment, call Jones Family and Cosmetic Dentistry at 859-9 the Estill Clinic and Irvine Healthcare Pharmacies are focused on providing the best care possible for the people of Estill County. Our care for our patients and our community is what sets us apart. With society's fast pace, we want to make sure you leave with the information you need about your medications. With the knowledge and experience of John, Ryan, and Janet, you are guaranteed excellent service, whether you are in the store or pulling through the drive-thru. Taking care of the people of Estill County is our number one priority. So stop in or give us a call to become a part of our community. Gateway Cycles in Mount Sterling has the largest showroom in Central Kentucky with all the power sports products you can dream of for your next adventure. Gateway Cycles has a qualified, certified service department, friendly sales staff so you can ride free and play hard. Local people serving local people. We are here to make your dream a living adventure. Stop in and see us today at Gateway Cycles in Mount Sterling or visit us at gatewaycycles.com. Is everybody buckled in? Uh, Michael's joined us back now. Michael, we were waiting on the TV audience here, and I think we're here. And uh, was looking at the stat sheet here, and I, I am just very, very impressed, and I think uh, Coach is impressed with Braley McMath. Yeah. What a player. See, you see, Tom, she's so good at getting off the shot, too. I mean, for a girl that's 5-2, I mean, she's not the biggest player out there, as you pointed out during the game. But what is she, what she is good at is getting to a spot and getting an open shot for herself. And she is not afraid to fire it up. 7-15, 17 points, 3 rebounds for her as well. And for her to be the smallest player on the floor, to even get three rebounds is saying something. Now, what Madison Central has done is they have defended everybody else well. 
0 of 6 for Timothy Williams, 0 of 6 for Reagan Barrett. So they've been able to kind of shut those two players down, but McMath is carrying the load for Great Crossing. As for Madison Central, you only shoot 8 of 26, and Tom, correct me if I'm wrong, 13, 14 missed layups there oh, in the yeah. first half. Yeah. And some of them were contested, but I would say seven or eight of those were wide open layups where they just kind of had to, to rush the shot and missed it. And they were two of 13 in the first quarter. That's really where they got behind the eight ball, even though after the first quarter, they were only down by three. So for Madison Central, you're getting inside. You're just not finishing. If you can do that same thing there in the second half and make those shots, you're going to be in the lead. And that's where we stand right now as they trail by six, even though plenty of chances there in the first half. We are live here on the Bishop Small Engine Repair Halftime Show at Bishop. The variety of outdoor power equipment is second to none. Visit Bishop Small Engine Repair at North Estill Avenue or on the web at bishopsmallengineerepair.com to see all the latest brands available at Bishop's Top. Eve Carter, man, what a game tonight. Yeah, the freshman Se stepping up. Yeah, seven points, two assists already, and she's playing fearless out yeah. there on the floor. Good and defense as well. So uh, let's see if she can't keep that going here in the second half. We'll take a two-minute commercial break, folks, and come back for the start of the third quarter. It is Madison Central down by six, 29-23. Great crossing in front back in two minutes on the stations of Rolling for Broadcasting, WEK 192.5 and WBONTV.com. Is everybody buckled in? I want to make sure you're buckled in. You're more important. <laughs> oh, guys, you're important too. Remember, everyone's important. So buckle up to and from the ball game. Come on, let's go. I'm Michelle. And I'm Jennifer. And in the spring of 1992, Bishop Small Engine Repair was born in our mom and dad's barn in Estill County. Then in the fall of 1992, we made the move to Madison County, where we are today. With the support of our family, customers, and community, we have continued to grow in the outdoor power industry. With a full line of products from Cup Cadet, Grasshopper, Echo, and Shindawa, we can help you tackle your yard so you can enjoy it with your family. Bishop's Small Engine Repair, where our focus is our customer. Stop on in, 119 North Estill Avenue in Richmond. We can't wait to see ya. At Madison Drug, Charles and his staff know your time is valuable and will work to get you in and out quickly. We have a convenient drive through and offer free delivery. For vaccinations, just walk right in, no appointment necessary. Madison Drug, Richmond's hometown pharmacy. At Madison Drug, Charles and his staff know your time is valuable and will work to get you in and out quickly. We have a convenient drive through and offer free delivery. For vaccinations, just walk right in, no appointment necessary. Madison Drug, Richmond's hometown pharmacy. It's been a busy year. So what's on your to-do list? Serious house hunting? Home improvement projects? Or maybe a new car? Or a boat for summers on the lake? For more than a century, your neighbors at Cumberland Valley National Bank have been helping turn plans into reality. Stop by any of CVNB's branch offices or visit CVNB.com and find the right personal vehicle or home loan that fits your budget and meets your needs. CVNB, local banking with big time advantages. Member FDIC, equal housing lender. We are back on WBONTV.com and on 92.5 WEKY. Tom Gross, Michael Watkins, and Tom got a special birthday announcement tonight, right? Yeah, I do. I'd like to say a big happy birthday to the uh, tartar sauce and the pickles that have been in my refrigerator for three years today. So uh, happy birthday, guys. <laughs> we have too much fun, man. <laughs> I tell you what, are you buying dinner tonight? I'm hungry, man. Why do you want to eat? I'm hungry, too. Hey, Buffalo Wild Wings sounds good. Or well, we could do that. Gillum's sounds I think good. We could a do pizza that. at Gillum sounds really good, actually. I haven't had pizza in a long time. That might be good tonight. You like thin crust? Uh, Sure. Yeah. If you do if thin you're crust. you're I like anything, man. If you do thin crust, I, I, I might have to do that with you. Pre beer bomb will inbound to Eve Carter as Centra will get the ball down by six to start the third quarter. See if that break kind of cools off. Yes. McMath as Todd oh, gets inside. Got, got hit in the back of the behind. head. No foul call. Oh, my gosh. And they're going to call a jump ball and give the basketball back to Great Cross. And Coach Lovely can't believe the call. That was right in front of the official too, Tom. Yeah, and, and it was two hands. I mean, nearly knocked her head off. That has to be a personal foul. Wow. So here's McMath. 
She'll look inside to Barrett. McKeithen right there with her. Good defense. The ball tipped around. Carter, a good job to save it to McKeithen, but Todd can't control it. Saved back in again. Hot potato. All right, now, be deliberate this trip, girls. Let's go. Put it in the hoop. Carter over to Todd, left wing. And we've got a bench warning against Madison Central. Brad Lovely still complaining about the no foul call the last time down, and he is charged with a bench warning. No technical foul yet, but Coach Lovely got to be careful, Tom. Yeah, I, he feels exactly like I feel. Yeah. How can that not be a foul when you about knocked the girl's head off? I and, mean, her head lunged forward, and it, it hurt her, you could tell, the way she reacted. Carter will go left side over to Hammett. She'll fire it up. Gretchen can't finish. Rebound to Sherman, and she got away with the travel. Yeah. Williams at the floor for great crossing. Got to keep an eye on McMath as Williams fires up the three wow. and knocks it down. That is a huge shot to get the third quarter started. A nine-point lead for great crossing as Todd is fouled by McMath, I believe. When you're averaging 13.9 points a game and – this team has held you to two. You're ready to come out firing, and she nailed that one from downtown. Got the rim rat rattler on that. Big shot for her to kind of get her going, and that's bad news for Madison Central, who to this point, as you said, it held her just to two points. She was 0 of 6 from the field. Here's Todd to Leah. Backs it out, and McMath right there with her. Todd spins around, drives it inside to Leah. Hit hard, no foul call. Out of bounds. Madison Central will keep possession. Yeah, I, I, I have to agree, agree with Coach Lovely, but he needs to calm a little and stay in this game. They need him. Hammett gets in. She can't finish. Had a beer bomb open in the corner but didn't get it to her, and now it's buried at the other end. She'll drive in. Shot comes off, and now Hammett the rebound. That one could have been a foul against Central Tom, so they might be letting them play more here in the third quarter. Yeah. Here's beer bomb, three-pointer. Oh. In and out. Rebound to Barrett, and Great Crossing can add to a lead here to put this lead potentially in double figures if she lakes the layup, but she does not. Rebound to Hammett as Williams got inside and couldn't knock down the layup on this end. It might be a, a little cork on the basket on this side, Tom. Another missed layup on the right side of the floor as Central has it on the left side of the floor now. It's taught to Leia. Step back three-pointer. This one too hard, and the rebound to Williams. She'll take it down the floor for great crossing. Williams in a hurry. Another missed layup. Hammett the rebound, and she's hit and fouled by Barrett. A sloppy beginning to the third quarter. The only basket was a three-pointer by Timothy Williams as great crossing extended their lead out to nine, but that's it here in the third time. Yeah, Hammett's four rebounds already in this third quarter added to the three that she had in the uh, – in the first half, and she's having a good game on the glass. They're going to need that from her the rest of the way. Central's got to get something going offensively. Todd will come to the basketball to Leia. Across the timeline, drives in. Got to keep going inside. I know the shots didn't fall there in the first half, but they had so many good looks. They got to keep going inside here in the second half. Great crossing with the 2-3 zone now, trying to keep the ball from penetrating. Beer bomb, threw it away right to McMath. He shows short, didn't even see her. McMath drives in and lays wow. it in. <laughs> Full timeout, Madison Central. They now trail by 11, 34-23. Great crossing. We'll come back in one minute on WEKY and WBONTV.com. At Eastern Kentucky University, we recognize greatness starts in the classroom, but it doesn't end there. You have to get hands-on, get real-world experience, and discover who you are meant to be. Be a crime fighter. Be a visionary. Be a colonel. See what you can be. Visit go.eku.edu slash colonel. Affordable Service Solutions is the heating and air company you want to call when you want the work done right the first time for an affordable price. That's Affordable Service Solutions. Call Brian at 779-0122 for all your heating and cooling needs, plus 10-star units at an affordable price. That number again is 
1-800-888-0122. And remember, Affordable Service Solutions is your local Tempstar dealer. 34-23 is the third quarter. Underway, 5.06 to play at Madison Central High School in the first round of the 11th Region Tournament. And, Tom, Central was, went scoreless in the first three minutes, whereas Great Crossing has added five points to the lead up to 11 now. Yeah, with, with uh, McMath in there, you can't stop her. You can only hope to contain her. And uh, they really got a container here from now on. Todd drives in, and there's the foul as Talia will shoot two free throws. Todd, again, in the last game for Madison Central in the 44th District Championship game, was 15 out of 19 at the free throw line. And in that game, Central only shot 27.8% from the field, Tom, but the free throw line is where they got it done at. They were 21 of 29 at the free throw line in that district championship game. Todd misses the free throw there. Indians tonight, only four of eight at the line. And one more free throw for Todd. Splits a pair. Talia, three of four at the charity stripe this evening, and the lead is down to ten for Great Crossing. McMath with it. Get it inside. They get it. Try to go back to McMath, and Carter with the steal. Eve to McKeithen, and Jacory had it stolen away by McMath, but a foul from behind yeah. on Williams. Now, I've, been, I've questioned some calls, but that was an excellent call. Uh, the player that was away from the play who didn't go after the steal was the one who made the body contact, and that was Timothy Williams, and that's her third. Todd with it for Central. Up top, Talia lost. The handle ball is loose. It's on the floor. Todd couldn't get to it. McMath has got it, and she'll give it out to Williams now. Williams on the left wing, back to McMath. A tough possession for Madison Central where they had a fast break, picked up a foul against Great Crossing, but now the Lady Warhawks are back in business. Shot is up, <laughs> beer bomb the foul, and Tyranny will shoot two free throws. That's a Tom Zilla foul right there. If somebody beat me in intramural basketball in college, they always got the left hand to the hip as they were going up. You know how to stop that, don't you, Tom? <laughs> Grab their shorts. <laughs> oh, don't, don't let them go by you. Oh, well. Tierney misses the first. She's now one of three at the line tonight. Well, with my four-minute speed in the 40, you can see why they went right by me. Is that driving a go-kart down the <laughs> yeah. path as well? <laughs> that free throw comes off. 35-24, 4-10 to play, 11-point lead. McKeithen will come to it, beer bomb over to Carter. Madison Central down the floor, down by 11, halfway through the third quarter. Lady Indians got to get it going here. Beer bomb on the left wing. I'm surprised Coach Williams has the, has the pressure on. Beer bomb, triple on the way, it's short. It's a good look, and that's a shot she can make, but not tonight. Bree has missed her last three three-pointers. Here's Williams inside. McKeithen got a piece oh. of it, and somehow it still goes down. Jacory got the swipe, and it pushed the ball way up into the air, and somehow it comes down through the net. 37-24. <laughs> Center on the verge of letting this one get away from them. They go inside to McKeithen. Jacory. Whew. Yeah. Somehow got that one to go. That one rolled around a couple of different times around the rim, but... Finally drops down. Williams, corner three. In and out, rebound offensively to Sherman, but she traveled with it. Wow. 37-26. These are seventh region officials officiating tonight's game as Todd will come out straighter in as well as Miller and Campbell for Madison Central. Glenn Wilson, Jr., the coach of uh, Great Crossing. He's not a happy camper right now. <laughs> Strader nearly traveled, and there it comes. She did. And, again, you've got so many young players in there right now. You've got Raylan Miller, who's only a sophomore, Carter, a freshman. you got the two seventh graders, Strader and Campbell, in there with the senior, McKeithen. 3-0-3 to play. This is danger time for Madison Central. You're down by 11, and McMath is really unable to get going here in the third quarter. McMath gets a screen from Barrett. Drive in, jumper at the free throw line. 
too hard. Long rebound. Right back out to her. Carter knocked it away, and McMath went over the back with it. McMath touched the basketball on this side of the floor and then stepped on the other side, and that's where the backcourt violation came in, Tom. Right. It was knocked away, but she regained possession in the forecourt. You cannot take it into the backcourt, and big turnover there and an opportunity here for Madison Central. Wow. Strader. Was bumped by tyranny. Jeez. The seventh grade taking a tough shot. That looked like drafting in NASCAR, man, <laughs> the bumper to bumper. They're going to come in to McKeithen or make that Miller at the top of the key. Raylan will drive in and got it blocked. Williams will now control it for great crossing. As this has been a sloppy third quarter by each team. Williams drives in off the glass. It comes out. Ball tipped out to McMath. She drives in well, and lays it in. She ain't going to miss. <laughs> McMath can do no wrong here this evening. The lead back to 13. McKeithen to Carter. Long pass up to Strader. Strader, eight-footer, is coming off. And the rebound to Tierney of Great Crossing, and she's fouled by Campbell. The pressure that has been applied by Great Crossing hasn't really forced a lot of turnovers, Tom, but what it has done in this quarter has sped up Madison Central. Yeah, it's not a deliberate game for Madison Central right now, and they really need that. The thing they're going to do, though, it looks like, is hold down this uh, potent offense. But there's... You've got to score yourself. Yeah, yeah, there's too many misses on the inside. Easy layups. Barrett drives in. Good defense by McKeithen. Here's Strader back the other way for Madison Central. Natalia, she will draw the foul. A good job by Strader going into the body of the defender and drawing the personal foul. That'll send Natalia Strader to the free throw line, and that is the fifth team foul against Great Crossing. Olivia Tierney, that will be her uh, first personal foul. Trader free throw, and misses, hits the front of the rim. Long in, Campbell out for Madison Central. And Sherman back in the game for Great Crossing. Going out is number 33, Leela Custard. Trader with one more free throw attempt. 39-26, a minute 49 to play. Missed them both. Two big misses for the seventh grader. And with a minute 45 to play, Tom, great crossing for the chance to really blow this one open here at the end of the third quarter. And Smith behind the back dribble, straighter right there with her, up top over to Sherman. Sherman going to cross over, get inside, out to Smith, corner three, comes off, Carter the long rebound. Central in a hurry, pass up to Strader. Natalia puts it in. 39-28, 118 to play in the third quarter. Had to hammer down all the way to the other end and an easy lay-in, and they needed that badly. Here's Williams. She'll cross over. Step back jumper is pure. She uh -oh. knocks it down. 41-28, minute two to play in the third quarter. Yeah, she's got seven in the third quarter now, so she's picked up her offensive game. Long pass up again to Strader. McKeith in the rebound. The ball's loose. Jakari able to chase it down, and she traveled with it. The Pace of play just too fast right now for Madison Central. And these young players really struggling to hold on to the basketball. A great hustle there by Jakari McKeithen. Just pulled the pivot foot a little bit as she was spun around by the defender up top. McMath out to Williams. Her three this time too hard. Rebound Sherman deflects it out of bounds. <laughs> 28-41, Central down by 13. Got to get something going here to end the quarter. Carter, floater yeah. is good. Eve Carter with nine points tonight. She's played very well for Brad Lovely. Cuts the lead back down to 11. Strader going to be called for the reach-in foul. That's only the team's third as McMath was making her move. That's also the third on Strader. Yeah, tough break there, she. Had the right idea, but just was a, a hair late. Ball's loose. Carter's got it. Eve all the way up. It misses the layup, but Todd gets it up, and she can't finish, but she will shoot free throws. 
Missed layups has been the downfall for Madison Central tonight. 11-point deficit, but two free throws coming up from the senior to lay a time to try to cut this lead down to a single-digit deficit. Talia misses the first. Todd now three of five at the line tonight. One more free throw. Todd does a routine and puts it up. Missed them both. Carter the rebound. 13 seconds to play. Carter over to Todd. Todd with eight seconds will make her move. Talia crossed over, lost the handle. McMath the other way, feeds to Smith, and Smith will lay it in at the buzzer. Wow. Third quarter comes to an end, and Great Crossing puts the lead up to 13, 43 to 30. Madison Central down after three. We'll come back in one minute on WEKY and WBONTV.com. Need a physical for school or work? Need it right away? No problem. Berea Urgent Care has two convenient locations along with late hours to meet your needs. They're affordable too. Physicals at Berea Urgent Care only $20. DOT and CDL physicals are only $65. Berea Urgent Care number one by Walmart is open every day 9 to 9. Berea Urgent Care number two by Berea Drug open Monday through Friday 10 to 6. No appointment necessary. Berea Urgent Care, here when you need us. I'm Michelle. And I'm Jennifer. And in the spring of 1992, Bishop Small Engine Repair was born in our mom and dad's barn in Estill County. Then in the fall of 1992, we made the move to Madison County, where we are today. With the support of our family, customers, and community, we have continued to grow in the outdoor power industry. With a full line of products from Cub Cadet, Grasshopper, Echo, and Shandawa, we can help you tackle your yard so you can enjoy it with your family. Bishop's Small Engine Repair, where our focus is our customer. Stop on in, 119 North Estill Avenue in Richmond. We can't wait to see you. They'll come in to McMath. 43 to 30, eight minutes to play. And we just begin the fourth quarter. McMath will get it out to Williams. She'll cross over on Todd. Kick it back out to McMath. Pump fake. Between the legs dribble. McMath swings it around to Williams. Three-pointer on the way. In and out. That one wow. somehow comes off. McKeith in the rebound. And she'll give it up to Carter. That's her toughest rebound of the night. Carter with it for Central. Left wing over to Todd. They'll kick it into Strader in the corner. And she just couldn't handle the pass, Tom. Twelve rebounds for McKeith. Michael, she's doing a great job. I, I want to call Braley McMath Tiny Dancer. <laughs> I mean, her feet move, her hands move. She's got no-look passes. She's got behind-the-back passes, between-the-leg dribbles. She's an amazing basketball player. Swings it around to Sherman up top. Sherman lost the handle. Ball is loose. McMath over to Barrett, and Barrett will lay it in. Oh, wow. 45-30, Madison Central has got to make a run very soon. Carter drives in to McKeithen, and Jakari lays it off the glass. 45-32, under seven minutes to play. Eve Carter dishing it out tonight. Good job, Eve. Strader nearly got the steal on McMath, who gives it off to Williams. Kicked out in a corner three. Comes off. Offensive rebound, Sherman. It's back to a 15-point lead. What Central can't do, Tom, is trade baskets. Yeah, and, and uh, Sherman knows how to use her hips. She cleared the area. Todd drives in and draws the foul. Todd, six points tonight, but coming off a night where she was 15 of 19 at the free throw line, struggling this evening. Only three of six at the charity stripe, but two more coming. Todd missed oh, the first. Man. And Todd, the senior, turns her back to the basket in frustration. 6-28 to play. 15-point lead for Great Crossing. Make this one. Come on. There he you does. go. Four of eight at the line tonight for Todd. And Lady Indians are now 6 of 14 as a team from the free throw line. Chris Barrett on the left wing. She'll go over to Williams. Williams to Smith as they work it around. Whoa. Now up top McMath, and we're going to have a pushing foul on Williams as she 
kind of ran over the younger Strader. That's the fourth on Williams. Now Central can cut into that lead, down by 14. See if we can get Strader or Todd open for a three here. It's Carter over to Long. Long bounce pass to Carter. Now Strader along the left wing. Strader bounces it up. Now cuts inside, down inside to McKeithen. Ball stolen away. Good defense by Great Crossing. Here's Williams with it. Williams going to work inside. And they're going to call a foul against somebody. 47-33. William, 72% free throw shooter. You see why. <laughs> Nothing but net. I like her form, and I like her confidence yeah. in her shot. Good player. Knocks down both free throws. Yeah, she averages 13-9 uh, a game. And, uh, wow, she was held to two in the first half, but she's got nine in the second half. 49-33. This one's starting to get away from Madison Central. If it already hasn't, got to get something going offensively and string some points together here, Tom. Yeah, they need a big run here. And, and turning the ball over and having it slapped away isn't going to help anything. Here's McMahon. She'll drive in. Count the basket and a foul and great crossing pulling away here in the fourth quarter. I, I have to say that's probably the best female yeah. guard in high school I've seen this year. Oh, yeah. She is just amazing. And she's so good with the basketball. That shot comes off as Madison Central down by 18. It's into Todd to Leia. Drives in. Missed the layup. McKeithen's got it. Forces it up and in. She earned her Cheerios on that one, man. I mean, she had to clear her way a path, but a great offensive glass and put back there for two. Puts her in double digits with 10. Barrett, jump shot comes off. Rebound, picked out to Tierney, Tierney give it up to McMath, but Carter the steal, Aves played great tonight. Carter drives in, can't finish, rebound to Long, gives it up to Todd, to Leia off the glass and in, and a timeout, Madison Central. 51-47, four and a half to play, Lady Indians down by 14, but hanging around, not going away. Back in one minute, folks, on WEKY and WBONTV.com. Welcome to Chenault Vineyard. Locally grown wine, right here in the heart of Richmond. Chenault Vineyards is a place that everyone can enjoy. Celebrate your next event at Chenault Vineyards. Whether it be a wedding, baby or wedding shower, office event, or just a place to gather with friends. You can't beat the venues or the amazing views at Chenault Vineyards. Chenault Vineyards has a restaurant open Friday through Sunday and live music as well. Visit ChenaultVineyards.com to learn more about this amazing place. Tucked back into the heart of Richmond, Chenault Vineyards. Citizens Guarantee Bank makes banking on the go a breeze. Banking on the go has never been easier with options like balance inquiries, make payments from any mobile device, transfer funds between accounts, activate or deactivate a card with just a tap. And with mobile checking deposit, you can deposit checks straight into your eligible checking account using your iPhone, iPad, or Android device. Take advantage of all these fast, convenient, and secure services of Citizens Guarantee Bank. Mobile carrier charges and rules and restrictions may apply. See bank for details. Citizens Guarantee Bank member FDIC. Equal housing with. We are back at Madison Central High School where the Lady Indians have cut the lead down to 14. Now showing some full court defense. It's Smith with the basketball for great crossing. So get it inside. Barrett lost the handle. Central on the attack. Carter with it. She'll back it out to Todd. To Leia. Drives in. Now spins around. Had an open three, Tom. Didn't take it. Yeah, wise move. Let's make, a, let's make a high percentage shot. Try to get it inside to McKeithen if we can. 
Ball thrown away by McMath. Ball is loose. McMath picks it up and then will slow it down. What a feed to Barrett, who draws the foul and will shoot two free throws. Tiana Long, nothing she could do there. Gosh. Barrett towers over her, so she did what she could do and just grabbed the arm to prevent the easy lay-in. 51-37, under four minutes to play in the fourth quarter. Lady Indians down by 14. Barrett misses the free throw, and Central continuing to hang around as Beerbaum comes back in for Strader. Now Barrett, a 79% free throw shooter, so... You wouldn't expect her to miss well, too many. She missed both of the rebound to McMath. McMath, pump fake, drive in, floater, short this time, and the rebound to McKeithen. Jakari in a hurry the other way. Jakari, outlet to Breerbaum. Bree drives in, hits the deck, ball is loose. It'll stay with Madison Central. Wow. 3.43 to play in the fourth quarter. Little contact that time. Carter. <laughs> Just a little. Will come in to McKeithen. Jakari hands it off to Carter. Got to get going quickly here. Up top it's Todd. To Leia. Out to Long. Three-pointer. Too hard. And the rebound to Williams. Great crossing. Wanting to slow it down. That one would have trimmed the lead down to 11. But now great crossing will try to work this clock. The clock is their best friend. Williams drives in. Down inside to Barrett. Barrett finishes over the bigger McKeithen and puts the lead right back up to 16, 53-37, 3-10 to play. Here's Todd, Talia, hangs, can't finish, Barrett the rebound, ball's loose, McMath's got it for great crossing. McMath feeds over to Smith, who lays it in. Wow. Under three to play, and great crossing puts the lead up to 18. Now it's McKeithen, and McKeithen will draw the foul on Barrett inside. 55-37, 2.50 to play in the fourth quarter. Great crossing, looking to advance to the semifinals on Wednesday night. The, the semifinals will be played at EKU, and again, you can catch all the semifinal action on prepspin.com with William Warfield and our friends over at Prepspin. Campbell and Strader in, Beer Bomb out, along with Long. 18-point lead. Great crossing. Looking to advance to Wednesday night as McKeithen makes one of two. Here's McMath. Long pass up to Smith, who finds Williams across the floor. Williams will back it out. And great crossing again. Going to work this clock, Tom. Oh, yeah. It's definitely in their favor to do so. McMath's got it. Slowing it down once again, McMath over to Barrett. And he's got to play pressure defense here. Yeah, you can't let anybody go. you got to go get the basketball now. Williams with it, guarded by Carter. Williams will drive in. Carter got the steal. A long pass up to Todd. To Leia off the glass and in. 55-40, 208 to play. McMath dribbles through three defenders. McMath feeds it inside to Barrett, and Barrett stepped on the out-of-bounds line. And Coach Wilson not happy with the way his team is playing as Carter will come out. Sailor in and Strader out as well. So Coach Todd getting, or Coach Lovely getting some of his upperclassmen in. Todd down the floor to Leia. Too hard this time. Players hit the deck, and I believe it's Sailor who ties it up. It'll be a jump ball, position arrow to Madison Central. Wow. The, the contact is just amazing tonight. Very physical basketball game. Campbell will come in to Sailor. Free throw line jumper comes off. Rebound to Sherman of Great Crossing. Lady Indians down by 15, a minute 43 to play. Great crossing continued to just let this clock wind down. Williams will be picked up by Campbell. She'll drive in, 
Ball deflected. Campbell make that Williams got it back. Now it's Sherman who will lay it in and knock down the layup. 57-40, a minute 20 to play. Todd on the attack to Leia off the glass. Nice strong move. Finishes the basket. 57-42 with 109 to play. Great crossing will let this clock wind down. Sailor, the senior in there. Hard to steal from her. That ball is low, but she dribbles. And a foul by Sailor. Coach Love, they're going to get his two seniors, McKeithen and Todd, one last ovation as their season and their high school career will come to an end. Talia Todd, number five, and Ja'Cory McKeithen. Tom, the two seniors who have done so much for this program, both who scored their 1,000th point earlier in the season, their career will come to an end tonight as Madison Central will fall here in the first round of the 11th region tournament to a very good great crossing basketball team. Yeah, great crossing. Uh, they, uh, they're going to be a team to be reckoned with. They didn't have their best game tonight, uh, that's for sure. But, uh, wow, I don't see anybody, unless they've, another team has a very small point guard that is very quick that would be able to guard McMath. I just don't see it. McMath will shoot another. Hits it, 59-42, and the great crossing crowd will come alive at McMath. Adds to her total, 59-42. Here comes Campbell up the floor for Central. Campbell will come over to the near side. Swung around. Lady Indians moving it around. It's put up and in. Alaruzzo puts it in. The junior, Elena, makes it 59-44. 20 seconds to play, and Great Crossing will let this. I thought they were going to let the clock wind down, but these younger players want to get on the board, Tom, and that's a jump yeah. shot that comes off. Campbell the rebound. Campbell, long pass up to number 12 for Madison Central. That is Kleins, and the seventh grader will draw the foul. 5.8 to play. And this game, Tom got away from Madison Central there in the third quarter. Outscored by three points in the first, three points in the second, and Great Crossing doubled up Madison Central in the third quarter, 14 to seven, and that's where it really got away from. Yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if McMath didn't have 10 assists tonight, most of those coming in the second half. Free throw comes off, ball deflected out of bounds. It'll be great crossing ball with 4.7 to play. Lady Warhawks will bring it up the floor, and they will advance to the semifinals Wednesday night for the final score, 59-44. Great crossing defeats Madison Central in the first round of the 11th region tournament. We will... Send it over to commercial for two minutes. We'll come back here to Madison Central High School where the Lady Indians fall in the first round of the 11th region tournament back in two minutes on WEKY and WBONTV.com. Gillum Sports Lounge is the place to go to watch your favorite team, whether it be EKU, Kentucky, or your favorite local high school team on WBONTV. Gillum's has you covered on one of their many flat screen TVs. Gillum's has something on the menu for everyone. Pizza, burgers, mouth-watering appetizers, subs, sandwiches, salads, and more. And Gillum's Sports Lounge is the perfect place to host your next event in one of their private rooms. When you think local food in Richmond, think Gillum's Sports Lounge at 830 Eastern Bypass inside the Richmond Mall. Hometown Dental in Richmond has been serving the people of Madison County for many years. Now when you go to Hometown Dental, you can get everything you need under one roof because Hometown Dental now offers orthodontics. Hometown Dental is a full-service family dentistry dental group with a personal touch. Check out their website, hometowndentalrichmond.com, to learn about their services and staff at Hometown Dental. Located at 4095 Atwood Drive, Suite A in Richmond. Mention this ad and get free x-rays or $100 off zinc whitening treatment at Hometown Dental. 
The Estill Clinic and Irvine Healthcare Pharmacies are focused on providing the best care possible for the people of Estill County. Our care for our patients and our community is what sets us apart. With society's fast pace, we want to make sure you leave with the information you need about your medications. With the knowledge and experience of John, Ryan, and Janet, you are guaranteed excellent service, whether you're in the store or pulling through the drive-thru. Taking care of the people of Estill County is our number one priority. So stop in or give us a call to become a part of our community. Gateway Cycles in Mount Sterling has the largest showroom in Central Kentucky with all the power sports products you can dream of for your next adventure. Gateway Cycles has a qualified, certified service department, friendly sales staff so you can ride free and play hard. Local people serving local people. We are here to make your dream a living adventure. Stop in and see us today at Gateway Cycles in Mount Sterling or visit us at gatewaycycles.com. Madison Central falls at home in the first round of the 11th Region Tournament time by the score of 59-44. Lady Indians fall to Great Crossing here on the Chenault Vineyards postgame show. Tom, glad to have you along here on the Chenault Vineyards postgame show. At Chenault Vineyard is going to be the grand opening on March 14th, the 2020 season opening for Chenault Vineyard from 12 p.m. to 7 p.m. They'll have some great live music all day long, a complimentary cheese display. You can tour the winery as well. And for more information, go to ChenaultVineyards.com or check out the Facebook page for the vineyard. Are you going to treat me and take me out to that? That'd be a lot of fun. You buy my pizza tonight, I'll give you some free cheese at Chenault Vineyard on March 14th. <laughs> all right? Man, you can't beat that. <laughs> hey, good company, man. Well, we're watching some of the highlights here from tonight's game, Tom. And it was a sloppy second half. You can see as Schrader lays the, the, the shot in there. Madison Central just could never really get it going. The layups started to fall there in the second half, but great crossing just too much as they go on to win by the final score once again. 60, or make it 59-44, and that young lady, McMath, was the reason for yeah. the game tonight. 25 points, six rebounds for McMath, and to go along with five assists, but I think an even bigger stat, she had nine steals, Tom. Yeah, that, that's big. That's huge. She almost had a double double with steals. Yeah. And you don't see that a lot. She was she almost had a quadruple double if, if yeah. Tw yeah. twenty five points, six rebounds, five assists, and nine steals for Braley McMath. And folks, she's only a junior at, at yeah. Great Crossing. So teams in the eleventh region have to deal with her for another year. Uh, for the Lady Indians, they were led in scoring by Talia Todd, who had thirteen points. Jacory McKeithen finishes with eleven points, fifteen rebounds. Nine points, six rebounds, five assists, and five steals for Eve Carter, who played really good tonight for the Lady Indians. And also for Madison Central, two points for Hammett, four points for Strader, and two points for Alaruzzo. Lady Indians fall here at home, 59-44 in the first round of the 11th Region Tournament. And the two seniors, Ja'Cory McKeithen and Talia Todd, their season comes to an end, but... What a year they had. You go from the preseason number four team in the district. You lose five games in a row on two different occasions in the regular season, including the last five games of the regular season. Yeah. But you find a way to become district champion once again, but fall here in the first round of the 11th Region Tournament. Yeah, I, you know, it's going to be interesting to see how this uh, regional tournament pans out uh, this uh, first round games tonight for the ladies, and then tomorrow night we'll yep. be right back here for the uh, Madison Central game as uh, they play host again here in the first round game. So uh, let's see if the boys can't get her done tomorrow night. Our hometown dental players of the game, we're going to go with Todd and McKeithen, who finished their career each with a 1,000 points scored. McKeithen tonight picked up her 900th rebound, and just you can see how well these, this team has, has played with their two seniors. This season was kind of a disappointment when you've got all the, the the transfers or and the graduating players from last year. You're playing three seventh graders key minutes. For them to have the year they had and to still be district champions, a lot of that credit goes to uh, uh, Brad Lovely and his coaching staff. So we're <coughs> our hometown dental players of the game, Ja'Cory McKeithen, 11 points, 15 rebounds. Uh, Todd, 13 points uh, for her. And a, an amazing career for Todd and McKeith, and they are our hometown dental players of the game. At hometown dental, they're going to give you $100 off of Zoom lightning treatment or free exams and x-rays at hometown dental on Atwood Drive in Richmond. For all of us, folks, we'll be right back here tomorrow night. 
Same time, 7 o'clock tip for Madison Central Boys and Tate's Creek in the first round of the 11th Region Tournament. From all of us, our producer on the radio side, Jaden Johnson, our producer on the TV side, Austin Hanks, our cameraman tonight, Taylor Burns, and our halftime sideline reporter, Samantha Burford. He's Tom Gross. I'm Michael Watkins. We'll see you tomorrow night right back here on WEKY and WBONTV.com. The Estill Clinic and Urban Healthcare Pharmacies are focused on providing the best care possible for the people of Estill County. Our care for our patients and our community is what sets us apart. With society's fast pace, we want to make sure you leave with the information you need about your medications. With the knowledge and experience of John, Ryan, and Janet, you are guaranteed excellent service, whether you're in the store or pulling through the drive-thru. Taking care of the people of Estill County is our number one priority, so stop in or give us a call to become a part of our community. Gateway Cycles in Mount Sterling has the largest showroom in Central Kentucky with all the power sports products you can dream of for your next adventure. Gateway Cycles has a qualified, certified service department, friendly sales staff so you can